It's the opening round of the Motorsport UK British Rallycross Championship Five Nations Trophy in 2023, and it kicks off here at Linton Hill. Here is the grid for you in the supercar class. Jack Thorne on pole position, Ollie O'Donovan and Victor Franks in the RX2 e-machine on the outside of the front row. Then it is Tristan Ubbenden, Robert Spittles on row two. Steve Harris, Patrick O'Donovan following a DNF in his final, the reigning champ at the back of the grid with Julian Godfrey, the six-time British champion for company, alongside him in his new Citroen DS3. All eyes to the lights then, ready to go for the final here in the supercar class. Wait for the green light to come on. Green light to go, great start from Thorne, not bad at all from Franks off the outside. Likewise, Julian Godfrey getting away pretty well from the back of the grid as they go down and towards the first corner. So it's Thorne from Ollie then, here comes Victor Franks on the inside. There's a bit of contact there as Patrick O'Donovan gets his elbows out on the inside, pushes out. Uh, Tristan Ovenden there as they come through Talladega. He in turn loses a place to Robert Spittles as they go over the jump and in towards the left-hander of the Devil's Elbow. So it is Thorne then, and then you can see Franks coming under all sorts of pressure here from Patrick O'Donovan as they come up the top of Harry Hill and into the North Bend. So Jack Thorne leads the way from Ollie from Patrick O'Donovan who has now got himself ahead of Victor Franks. And Franks now is going to be on the back foot because Robert Spittles in the Citroen C4 is going to be trying to pile the pressure on. So, at the end of the first lap, it is Thorne then that leads the way, followed by Ollie O'Donovan in his Proton Eris. Debuted last year, that car, a very different kettle of fish to the Ford Focus and the Fiesta that he was used to running beforehand. And you can see here, Patrick O'Donovan really piling the pressure onto his father, Ollie, as they come across the jump and down in towards that devil's elbow. So it's Patrick versus Ollie. It is father versus son, with Ollie ahead for the time being. But for how long as they come to the top of the circuit, there is Jack Thorne in the ex Albertech run. 208 and it's now POD Patrick who is behind in second as well. This is absolutely fantastic racing here in the supercar class. So into the bottom bend we go. Now we're going to run nose to tail here between the two 208s. Jack Thorne versus Patrick O'Donovan. From what I understand that uh, Patrick O'Donovan run machine is the ex Hansen uh, Peugeot 208 that was run by Sebastian Loeb a few years ago in World RX, so it's a very capable machine. We know that that is a car that can compete for victories, but also Jack Thorne's supercar is looking pretty handy out there in the lead of this race. So now Ollie is going to be on the defensive here from Victor Franks for third position, but back at the front, it is still Jack Thorne versus POD, and I wonder whether Patrick might go in for the Joker this time around. Down to the bottom of the circuit we go, not this time around there for Patrick. He's going to continue on as he did last time and try to muscle his way through on Jack before the rest of the race is run. But the thing is, all he's doing at the moment is hemorrhaging time. Patrick knows that. He's a very young, very bright lad. He's got the capability to be competing at the sharp end, not only in British championships, but also in European and world championships. Of that, I am absolutely sure. And he knows what to do in circumstances like this. He'll be thinking about that. He'll be two or three steps ahead of where he is out on track. And you can see Thorne going for the defensive line as they come to the top of the circuit. POD just looking for the inside line there on the exit of that corner. Now surely Patrick's going to go Joker at the end of this lap. He's just going to be hemorrhaging more and more time, and indeed he does. So he goes into the Joker. Patrick into the Joker then. Now how is this going to play out? If he can run in some clean air, he can try to undercut Jack Thorpe when he in turn goes for his Joker. Ollie O'Donovan emerging as well. He's going to be really close in with Victor Franks as they come down towards the first corner. He tries to shut the door, does Ollie? That's going to cost him time. And off onto the grass, just about kicking it out of the gravel as he comes into contact then with Victor Franks in the RX2E machine. That could have been a lot nastier there for Ollie O'Donovan. He just tried to shut the door whilst Victor was on his inside and it didn't prove to be a move that paid off there for Ollie, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Robert Spitzel is now ahead of Victor as we look back at the race leader, Jack Thorne. Now, what is Thorne going to do? Is he going to go Joker this time? Yes, he is. Really fast into that Joker section. What's he going to mean, though, for Patrick O'Donovan? Let's see. As he emerges back onto the track, it's going to be mightily close between the two. It's Patrick versus Jack then, down towards the first corner, and POD leads the way at the start of the final lap. Fantastic, but he's wide. He's wide into Talladega. He manages to gather it up, though. Can he hold on to the end of this race? This is phenomenal action here in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in the supercar class. So, into the left-hander we go. It's POD ahead of Jack Thorne then. Both of these drivers have driven supremely well in this race. And I'm sure that unless 
POD makes a mistake, he is going to hold on to take the win at the chequered flag. What a way it will be to start his 2023 campaign, his title defence in the supercar class. Patrick O'Donovan around the final corner and across the line to win the supercar final from Jack Thorne. Here for round one at Lytton Hill will be Victor Frank's home in third place in the RX2 E-Machine, ahead of Robert Spittles and then Ollie O'Donovan coming across the line with Tristan Ovenden a bit further adrift there as well and Julian Godfrey completing the order at the back of the field. But what a start to the season we have had. What a great drive from this man here. It is Patrick O'Donovan, the winner of the round one final for the supercar class here at Lytton Hill. What a way for him to start his title defence in 2023.